today Sunday, the 26th of February. And we are heading back home where we live in American Samoa. Well, we had came to San Francisco for my youngest brother's funeral. And it's no one's will but God's. Um, it's sad to leave our other siblings and family back in San Francisco, but we have to go back. Uh, it's too cold here, and I'm ready for some. Right now, we're here at the airport. And we're going to our gate because our grandfather is really anxious uh, to get on the plane. Over, take her right, please. Mahalo. Cool. Hey, my name is Jason Mano. I was born in uh, Torrance, California, raised in Seattle. I went to high school back home in Sabua. Uh, it's been a long time since I've been to Sabua. Last time was probably in '98. But now I'm uh, headed back. Probably need a little refueling for the soul. Maybe I need to go see my moms or something, you know. It's been a long time. Um, headed to Samoa for vacation. It's a place I call home, especially if moms is out there. Uh, got a lot of other people out there too, like my brothers out there. Just see my uh, sister in Hawaii. Just looking forward to this trip back home. Remember where you're from, or where uh, if you've never been to Samoa. It's always Samoan. As long as you're born Samoan, you're Samoan. Barbecue for all five pesos, thanking them to, for helping us with our, my uncle Gavika's funeral. Well, come down here. I know that you won't like it because you're not used to here. You're used to the states. So that's all I gotta say. I think it's like a rough life. You know, you gotta work hard for what you want to get. You know, it's not like off island where. You know, everything is like free and you get spoiled. Well, for people who are leaving off island, well, I just gotta say, you know, just enjoy it as you can down here, you know. It's like learning something, even though in this hard life, but then you get to learn a lot of new values and stuff. Values like how to stand out on your own two feet and things a lot of how to live your life depending on your own self and doing all this hard work you know that will get you into shape and much more well I just I thought it would be more interesting because I see it in movies and so that's the that, that's why I've been looking forward to go to the States and the reason why I came back because it was boring, boring over there. It's like takes an hour or more to go to places, so it's better here because we're free to do anything. We can walk anywhere, and it's close. And um, I guess that's it. We heard our after our grandpa's I think 90th birthday. My mom made a. My mom came down here and she saw she saw the life down here and she was thinking that. Uh, she's, that's what she wanted for us. She wanted the Samoan life for us, so she came down, told my dad that she wanted to take us back up, and my dad said okay. And uh, plus another reason why she wanted us back because she wanted us to 
lived the rest. He with our grandpa because our grandpa was sick and close to, to close to his time. My mom wanted to spend the last of his last of his days with, with us. She wanted us to stay with be with our grandpa at the last of his moments. Like at least get a feeling of him taking care of him. I'm a volleyball player I'm going back next week, Thursday actually, for volleyball and I'ma leave my daughter behind. But leaving it feels so complicated because um, it doesn't feel the same no more because now we're all separating and all that. And someday we'll be together again. But yeah, we just depend on God to see what happens. I don't know, man. I've been uh, I've been gone for a, for a year now. Back up in Cali, just doing my thing, working and stuff like that. But, you know, wherever you go, this is always home. It's always home, you know. You know I come back and just kind of kick back, reset. And, and then head back to back to the grind, you know. But um, you know, this is this is where family's at, and where family is, is always home. Man. So but, um, you know, even that, you know, just uh, learning respect and uh, and uh, carrying that in, into your life. You know, people pick up on things like that, and, and uh, you know, a lot of people are like, "Hey, where are you from, man?" We're like, "Why are you like that?" I'm like, "Oh, it's because I'm Samoan. I'm from Samoan." That's just the, you know, you bring people down from the states who don't understand the way you are, and they, they come here and they see it and they're like, oh, now I understand, you know, it's because it's that's the way people are here, that's the way people are built.